Welcome, everybody, to another edition of The Logic Professional. This is a new YouTube series exploring the ins and outs of Apple's Logic Pro 10 uh, software. Today, we're going to be talking about the Tape Delay plugin. Uh, this is a really excellent and useful plugin that simulates actual tape analog delay, um, which, of course, is very expensive and requires a lot of hardware. But this digital version, which does a pretty good job simulating it, doesn't cost anything if you have Logic. It's just a plugin that's built in. I like to use it on vocals, on instruments uh, that use a delay effect. Uh, today, we're going to do something fun. We're going to explore it on the vocal track that's feeding through this microphone. So you'll be able to hear what it does exactly in real time. So I'm going to come on down here to the mixer and choose the tape delay. It's in the delay folder at the bottom here. I'm going to turn it off for a second because you'll hear it. So once I turn it on, you'll hear the delay. It sounds like this. Check, check, check. It's a really it's nice, a really nice clean delay, really useful. Um, and just like any tape delay pedal or effect that you've seen before, it has pretty standard parameters. You've got your uh, dry output, which is just the unaffected vocal and then the wet output, which is the volume of the delay. So I'll show you how those sound when you manipulate them. Check, 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 check. Yeah, so nothing complicated there. Uh, we've also got a feedback knob, which, you know, uh, determines how fast the delayed signal degrades. Uh, if it's set down here at 0%, it will only echo once and then immediately stop, like this, this. See? See? Really nice. Really nice. Very clean, easy to use. And of course, as you slowly bring this up, it will it take, will take, will take will longer, take longer, take longer to, to, <laughs> to, to, <laughs> to disappear. 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 And actually, if you push the feedback past 100%, you can create these uh, wall of sound fades. It's a really cool, popular thing that you'll hear done in a lot of music. A lot of guitar players will do this with the delay effect pedal as well. So check this out. course uh, you want to pull it back below 100% or it will continue feeding back and it will get louder and louder which can be very bad for your speakers so be careful with that but have fun with it because it creates um, some very cool sounds another nice feature of the logic tape delay plugin is that you have a high and low cut frequency here so you can for instance take all the low end out of your delay so here's the regular delay the delay the delay the delay the delay let's turn that Let's feedback turn that down. feedback down so it's so regular, it's delay. regular delay. Regular delay. And let's cut and the let's low. Cut the low. So now the delay, so now the delay has that has radio, that radio sound with no bass. No bass. Of course, you could also, you could also cut, the high. cut the high. And you can have, you can have a single have band, band, band being delayed, being and, delayed and you can sweep and through, and through, it. through it. And if you automate the stuff, you can create some create really, some really cool, cool, cool effects that make production sound nice and fancy. So that's a great so that's feature. A great feature. A I'm going to turn the uh, filter off, bring it back all the way. A few other things to look at here. Uh, you can modulate the delay. You have a low LFO rate, that's low frequency oscillator. Um, and you can set the rate of it and the intensity, and that will modulate the sound of the delay. So let me show you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can also modulate with uh, with flutter, which uh, I think it's easier just to show you what that sounds like. So here we so go. Here we go. Here we go. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Flutter. flutter.
creates that sort of glitchy uh, sound like the tape's being pulled off a little bit and jumping back. Um, very cool. There's a lot of creative uses for this. I definitely recommend exploring that with some of your favorite sounds. Again, automating these effects can lead to some really nice uh, moments in your music. So, of course, the delay has other uh, basic features. You can control the time of the delay. Right now we're on a quarter note, a quarter note, quarter note quarter which, is set which is set to the grid of the song. So this song's tempo is 120, as you can see here. So this is a quarter note of 120 BPM. BPM. But we can switch, we it, can to switch it to, let's say, a half say note. Let's say a half say note. Let's say a half note. A little more spread apart. A little more spread apart. A little more spread apart. Or even a whole bar. Or even a whole bar. And you have these nice long or delays. And you have these nice long um, delays. And anything in between, you could also go way shorter and create something like it's a slap delay effect. You hear this a lot on vocals. Um, um, sort, sort of gives, gives the, the room, room sound, sound to it. it. Kind of fun. Also, also it's, it's really, really fun to uh, crank, crank the, the feedback, feedback on the slap, slap effect. So check, check it out. Make, make a little, little, make a little, little noise, noise here. here. Mm -hmm. So again, this is another fun thing to explore. And if you don't want this to be synced to the tempo of your song, you can actually click this button here to turn that off. And now the delay is just measured in milliseconds. And you can set it to anything you'd like. Set it to anything you'd like. Uh, from very short, very short, like a slap, like a slap delay, delay, to, to uh, very long, very up to short, five seconds. Like a slap delay, uh, to like this. Yeah. To very long, up to five seconds. All right. Um, and the last last thing we really have to talk about here is the character box. This is actually a new feature in the tape delay um, that wasn't in Logic 9, which also includes a clip threshold and a spread option. And what this will do a clip threshold and a spread is and what uh, it will uh, it will emphasize the emphasize character, the character, of, character the of the tape distortion. So. So when you're running a tape delay, the signal is distorted by the tape. It's the analog signal running through something. It creates what a lot of people call warmth and body, and it's actually just a form of distortion. So you can um, choose between a clean mode and a diffuse mode, mode which just makes the delay makes a little delay dirtier, a little dirtier have, a little have a little more to color to it, and then you can adjust this threshold this here. Threshold here to sort of dial in, dial in the kind of distortion, kind of distortion that you want. It's very want. subtle. It's very subtle. It's um, um, just another feature. Just another and then feature. a spreader and here. A spreader here. This will this will sort of simulate sort of the stereo simulate spread, the spread stereo a bit more with the delay. With the delay. So let's crank so that up. Let's crank that up. Okay, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for checking out this video, hearing me make silly sounds into a microphone and play with this delay plugin. Um, if you have any questions at all about this plugin or anything about Logic Pro in general, I'm always happy to help out. Please leave a comment below. I'll get ba back to you as soon as I can. Uh, remember to like this video and subscribe. It's really a big help to me. And thank you all so much for checking out the latest edition of The Logic Professional. You all have a great day. Bye.